welcome to all of you in this video now in this video i, I am going to discuss about uh, mechanical operation for gate chemical engineering so the basically the content of this video will be uh, the topics which need to be covered for mechanical operation as far as gate is concerned and at the same time i will also discuss about uh, what are the sources which uh, one can use to cover these topics and at the end of this video i will discuss about what are the wrong answers uh, which is uh, given in arihant chapter wise solution for fluid mechanics as well as mechanical operation uh, questions so let us uh, start our this uh, our this video okay now the sources uh, which i used for uh, covering mechanical uh, operation syllabus are uh, enumerated here uh, the some of the topics was covered by uh, mckeven smith some of the topics was taken from uh, um, mechanical operation for chemical engineering engineers by uh, bhattacharya uh, this is uh, not a very good book uh, but in our college um, uh, my professor recommended this book that's why we had studied uh, from this book so i just uh, taken some part of that book which is according to gate syllabus apart from this some lecture will be helpful for mechanical operation uh, by professor v kumar uh, sorry uh, v sankar iit kanpur apart from uh, that some video lecture some videos might be helpful uh, to visualize the uh, operation and uh, there is another uh, lecture series about mechanical operation uh, by professor savina khanam from iit durki uh, Uh, this uh, video lecture i haven't gone through okay uh, because at my time it was not available on uh, uh, nptel so i will discuss about it uh, whether it is useful or not and th my final note is uh, the all of the sources has been summarized in my notes uh, so the uh, the recommend the source which i will recommend is my own notes okay so let us start so the syllabus mentioned uh, in gate uh, chemical engineering syllabus are uh, shown here and based on this uh, syllabus i have uh, divided uh, the syllabus uh, in uh, different uh, chapters so let's say first chapter is particle technology second is combination or size reduction third is settling or sedimentation fluidization filtration uh, agitation and mixing and cyclones so these are the topics or these are the uh, chapters which need to be covered to uh, complete uh, gate syllabus for mechanical operation now i am going to discuss about uh, what are the uh, sources from where i covered all these uh, uh, topics now particle technology i have taken mostly from this uh, book mechanical operation for chemical engineers by bc bhattacharya now <clears throat> this book is not recommended to purchase this is not a good book for gate uh, i have summarized what are important uh, from this book for gate uh, in my notes so i have shared my notes on google drive i will give the link in this uh, description of this video and you uh, uh, in my uh, uh, link uh, or on google docs i have i have divided all these seven uh, chapters in different folders so you should start from this first chapter particle technology uh, the notes are i think self sufficient you can go through only notes and that would be suffice but if you find any difficulty then you may refer to this book if you have or uh, or in case if if your friend have okay but i will not recommend that to purchase it 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 won't be helpful okay so just uh, have a look on my notes if you i think it will be sufficient to, to understand because this note is uh, i think is understandable that's why i have shared here so just go through this note particle technology now the second topic is combination or size reduction okay now uh, this is an important topic uh, now this is again covered by uh, in my note by this bc bhattacharya book as well as mckeven smith book now in my notes wherever it is written page number something that is that means it is taken from mckeven smith sixth edition okay 
so if you want to go through the that book so you have to cover from 6th edition so just uh, match it accordingly okay so page numbers written in my notes are accordingly mckevan smith 6th edition okay wherever it is written chapter 2 or 3 it is taken from bc bhattacharya uh, that notes is sufficient i am telling again and again uh, no need to purchase this book now the uh, third thing is if any where it is written not important then you should skip uh, from my notes at the same time if it is uh, uh, written question mark it means that that concept is not clear cl- that concept was not clear uh, to me at that time okay so this much will suffice to understand my uh, notes okay now the third is settling and sedimentation now for settling one video lecture is important uh, by professor v sankar iit kanpur lecture 36 and lecture 37 is according to gate syllabus for mechanical operation so you need to cover two video lecture from uh, uh, v sankar uh, and ptl fluid mechanics lecture series and these two uh, lecture will be helpful one is to understand settling and another is to understand fluidization okay some part of sedimentation i have taken from uh, bc bhattacharya and some part of i have taken from mckevan smith again the page number will be uh, you will find that page numbers are mentioned in my notes you just download my notes from google drive and uh, what you do is uh, uh, just take a print out and go through that if you find that it is not understandable then go through mckevan smith 6th edition or if you have newer edition so just match it uh, from the pdf of 6th edition okay now i want to add one more thing that there are several types of uh, equipment which is used to size reduction like hammer mill or uh, crushers and uh, flu- fluid energy mills uh, all those things and now uh, i had some difficulty to visualize how they work so i also used some youtube videos so you just search for all those equipments they these videos are hardly one or two minutes uh, some videos are uploaded by himanshu suryasto so you can check it the uh, check it out or on youtube or you may just search it uh, uh, how fluid energy mill works or working pr- principle similarly for uh, uh, you can check for gyratory crushers uh, hammer mills and impactors so that you could have a feel of how these equipments works okay now for filtration mostly i covered from mckevan smith uh, now you have to start uh, covering mckevan smith from principle of cake filtration it is on 1004 page number uh, in 6th edition okay so it is also in my note uh, if you want to go through you may go through my notes only otherwise if you wish you can go to uh, go through mckevan smith the page numbers i have given for filtration now for last two topic agitation and mixing and cyclone i just took a print out of some nptel uh, course uh, pdf course and what i did is i took a print out and then i modified according to requirement of uh, uh, get so i added some important concept uh, in that print out only and i have given the picture of those uh, topics agitation and mixing as well as cyclone so i think for this uh, particular subject i would recommend my notes and only thing is my notes are more than sufficient it may be possible that some part of uh, particle technology or settling or combination may be not required for gate so it is more than sufficient okay uh, only thing is whether you are able to understand from my notes or not uh, i think uh, for most of the topic i have given the sources so if you are not able to comprehend then what you have to go you have to go to source and if you are finding that some of the pictures are not clear to understand so just comment in the uh, in this uh, for this video and i will uh, take another photo and i will upload it again anyway so this is all about uh, mechanical operations uh, sources and where you need to cover and let us now discuss about what are the wrong answer which is uh, given in arihant okay so this is from the book uh, arihant chapter wise solution and the questions uh, uh, i have taken from my book uh, which was uh, having solution from 2000 to 2011 uh, 
so the question numbers are accordingly but anyway i will give the year uh, in which the question has been asked okay so the first question which is 18 number question uh, was asked uh, in gate 2007 now the answer uh, given for 18 number is c while correct answer should be b now in unit operation correct answer has been given now question number 35 was asked in gate 2002 and the correct answer is d but the answer given is a and this is very obvious i mean everyone knows that the efficiency of a centrifugal pump first increases and then decreases as the flow rate increases uh, so i don't know how, how he has given answer a as correct answer uh, anyway uh, now question number 43 Uh, that question was asked in gate 2000 and the answer given is uh, c uh, while correct answer is b uh, the correct answer is also given in m subbu and the reason is that uh, if you take drag coefficient as constant drag coefficient as it is given here it means that uh, uh, the flow is in turbulent region now in turbulent re region uh, the uh, turbulent ve uh, terminal velocity usually proportional to uh, square root of d uh, while the answer given is for laminar flow uh, that is wrong now question number uh, 46 now this question was asked again in gate 2000 and the answer given is uh, a while correct answer is b and the reason is that the this is a shear thinning liquid which is non newtonian fluid and for non newtonian fluid the viscosity is usually not constant and viscosity changes with velocity so the correct answer is 46 uh, for 46 is b while answer given in arihant is a that is wrong anyway now for 48 question number 48 this question was asked in gate 2011 and uh, uh the answer given is c while correct answer is d again you can check the correct answer in official answer queue uh, i have already uploaded official answer queue uh, on my uh, gate uh, google drive uh, the actual reason is uh, that you have you can't take simple mean or rather you have to take weighted average uh, for this question so the correct answer would be d now question number 54 now this question was asked in gate 2009 and the answer given in arihant is b while the correct answer should be a uh, correct answer is available in unit operation okay now question number question number 69 now this question was asked in gate 2007 and the answer given is uh, d Uh, in arihant but in my opinion answer should be c uh, just check it out because uh, i am not confirmed because right now i cannot solve i have forget many concept uh, so but uh, in my book it is written that c is, seems correct to me so just check it out okay uh, whether it uh, whether i am correct or wrong okay now question number 81 uh, this question was asked in gate 2005 now gate 2005 this question was asked uh, and the correct answer is uh, b while answer given is uh, uh, sorry 50 uh, c okay so c is wrong answer b is correct answer uh, the reason is you cannot uh, apply just uh, total force on the dam as rho gs times area because you have to integrate that pressure is varying and to understand this concept you have to go through hydrodynamic forces on submerged forces submerged as surfaces uh, in sensor uh, by mistake i uh, when i was discussing in fluid mechanics so i said you may skip this topic yes you can skip it it is basic understanding uh, even if you have not gone through this then you may uh, having if you have a basic understanding of integration then you will understand that it is wrong otherwise just go through that hydrodynamic forces on submerged surface anyway now question number 87 this question was asked in gate 2004 and the correct answer is uh, the correct answer is 
C uh, sorry B and uh, while the answer is given in uh, Arianth is C uh, again it is wrong so next one is question number 91 uh, this question was asked in gate 2004 and the answer given in Arihant is D which is correct D, D is correct why I have taken here because in Ram Prasad it is given B as correct answer which is wrong so that's why I am telling you in every book uh, you will find some answer are wrong some answer are correct in Aryan, more numbers of answers are wrong, while in Ram Prasad, unit operation or Amsubu, errors are less. But still, in every sources, there are errors. So, for question number 91, Aryan's answer is correct, according to me. Now, question number 93. This question was asked in gate 2004, and the answer given is C, but I think uh, uh, A should be correct answer. But again, you need to check because uh, I haven't cross-checked from any other sources. Okay. Now, question number 95. Now, this question was again asked in gate 2004. And uh, the answer uh, given in uh, Arihant is B. While the correct answer is A. Now, this correct answer you can even find in Ram Prasad, page number 603. I don't know whether he has... Uh, uh, I mean whether it is a, a new edition is available for Ram Prasad or not but in my book it, it is on page 100, uh, 603 anyhow yeah, way you can check it out because the expression given is only one question will be available this type of expression so next question next question is question number 101 and this question was uh, asked in gate 2003 uh, the answer uh, given in uh, unit operation, sorry, uh, answer given in uh, uh, Arihant is B, uh, but it is wrong as it is written in my book. Uh, but what is correct answer? I have, uh, uh, I mean, I have forgotten to uh, write it there. there. So I, uh, right now I, I haven't solved it. So just check it out, okay? Now question number 102, uh, it was asked in get 2003. Two and the answer is given B again the answer should be A okay okay now question number 104 this question was asked in again with 2002 and the 104 okay now the correct answer is D while answer given is A now you can check correct answer in unit operation now question number Question number 109. Now this question was asked in gate 2000. Correct answer should be C while the uh, answer given in Arihant is B. Uh, the correct answer is in Ram Prasad question number 24. So this is all about uh, uh, what are the wrong answer which is given in Arihant uh, for as far as fluid mechanics and mechanical operation is concerned. Actually the <coughs> Uh, in most of the parts, I didn't discuss how it is wrong and why it is wrong uh, because uh, I haven't solved right now. I solved four years back and whatever whatever the things which I have written in my book in Arihant, uh, that's what I'm recommending, uh, I mean just uh, informing you. So just be cautious if you are solving from Arihant, it is good compilation, but be cautious. Just what I would suggest that uh, took your, uh, take your book, uh, Arihant book and just what you do is uh, whatever answer I am telling in this video or in another video just mark in your answer of uh, Arihant on Arihant book so that if you solve, whenever you solve uh, through this Arihant book then you will be having some uh, a good reference that whether uh, this answer is correct or wrong so anyway I think this would suffice for mechanical operation I haven't recommended any book rather I have recommended my notes uh, I hope uh, that notes will be visible and will be helpful uh, thank you for watching this video